This is a derivation question that tends to be overlooked by quite a few A-level math students. Once you know it, it's not too difficult, so it'd be easy marks in the exam. We have a graph of velocity against time. There's a constant gradient, so therefore there's a constant acceleration. We're told that a car moves along a straight horizontal road. At time t equals zero, the velocity of the car is u. The car then accelerates with constant acceleration a for t seconds. The car travels a distance of d during these t seconds. We have the velocity time graph above, between zero and t. And then we're trying to show that d, the distance traveled, is equal to this. And we can't use any of the SUVAT equations. So we have to derive everything from this graph. All right, so I'm gonna add an extra point on our graph. Let's say that this is the final speed V. Maybe we'll call it capital V, so it's consistent. So there are two equations that we can get from this graph. Once we have those two equations, we can derive the other three SUVAT equations. The first two equations would be SUVAT equations, the ones that we derive from the graph, and then we can combine those two things together to then get three other SUVAT equations, one of them being the one that we want to work out. Okay, so starting point, if we have a velocity time graph, the gradient of that graph represents acceleration. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. So in this case, the acceleration will be capital V minus U, that's the change in velocity, divided by the time which is T. And I'm gonna call that equation one. The second equation that we can get is from the area underneath the graph. So the area underneath the velocity time graph represents displacement. So in this case, well, we'd first of all be using the area of a trapezium. So the, the area would be a half a plus b times h, that's the area of a trapezium. Now in this case, the a and the b would be u and v, and the height would be this length here, t. So, the area is the distance, call that capital D. That's what we are told the distance traveled by the car would be. So that's a half times a plus b, so u plus v, multiplied by the height, which is in this case t. And that's our second equation. So I was saying in the beginning that the first two equations that we get are two SUVAT equations. Well, this one, if we rearrange it, we'd end up with v is equal to u plus at. That's effectively what that is. And this one, if we just rewrite the d as s, which is what it usually is written as, we end up with s is u plus v over 2 times t. So we have two SUVAT equations already. And then again, from these two things, we can derive what we need to. So if we look at the equation for d that we have already, so this one over here, and compare it with what we have here, the difference is that the key thing that stands out to me is that we have a v here, but we don't have v in this equation. So then what we can do is we can rearrange equation 1 for v and then sub that into equation 2. So equation 1 then becomes, so rearranging it for v, it would be v is equal to u plus at. And then put 1 into equation 2, we get d is equal to a half, u plus v, v is now u plus at. Expand out the interior of that bracket, so a half, 2u plus, actually I'll times it by t as well, so 2ut plus at squared. And then we half everything, it becomes ut plus a half at squared, which is what we wanted. Now there are two other SUVAT equations. There's also s is equal to vt minus half at squared. To get that equation, we would again use this, and we would rearrange for u, so rearrange this equation, which is the same as this equation, rearrange that equation for u, and then replace this u with that. And then we'll get s is equal to vt minus half at squared. We can also get v squared is u squared plus 2as. Now in that equation, we don't have time. So we can rearrange this equation for time. 
sub that into here. So replace this time with this equation rearranged for t, which would be v minus u over a. Expand the whole thing out and rearrange, and we will end up with v squared is u squared plus 2as. So yeah, key thing to memorize. Find the gradient, find the area underneath the graph. We get our two first super equations. Solve those two simultaneously to work out any of the other three.